Greetings and salutations, folks. I'm Josh from Lazy Acres. Thank you for tuning in. We are saving the world here one trailer at a time. Today, we're going to take a look at a 2024 Jayco Seismic, model number 399. Awesome model, L-shaped style sofa on it. <clears throat> Garage at the back. A lot of options on this one, but great value for you. And I'm here with my friend, that Dutch bad boy on the camera today. Brennan? What's going on, happy campers, future campers, and fellow salespeople? Thank you so much for tuning in to the number one RV YouTube channel in the world. A lot of people complain about toy haulers not having a good enough living space and kitchen space. Not this one. This one's fantastic. If you're on the line about a toy hauler, this is the one for you. Hit that like and subscribe button. Leave a comment. We're on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, Pinterest even. Check us out there as well. Enjoy. Right on, Brennan. Here at the front, we've got a great look in front fiberglass cap. There is two lines of seismic. There's a seismic luxury, and there's a seismic. This is the seismic, but still has a great look in front painted fiberglass cap. I love these blue lights in through here. We got that Kurt Rotoflex pin box. Also over here, we have our optional generator, which is on this guy. Hydraulic reservoir for a hydraulic uh, six-point auto leveling system, and then. As we come around the off door side, right here, we're gonna have 30 pumper pain tanks, one on either side of the model. We have a skinny pass through here, but it does open up over there on the other side. We've got our gate valve, city water connection, uh, winterizing spot, black water flush kit, outside shower, auto leveling controls, bypass for the water heater, 12 gallon gas electric water heater, furnace vent in through here, and then triple axle, Brennan. There we go. Triple axle, 17 and a half inch rims, nice looking aluminum rims. We've got our uh, <clears throat> fuel station in through here, 50 amp detachable style cord, side mount ladder, get up on your roof, check your seals every 90 days. Beautiful frameless windows, beautiful deckling, nice exterior overall in this model. And then coming around the door side, we've got two awnings here covering basically the full length of the trailer. One awning covering our, our, uh, our toy hauler door, the main awning, covering our slide and our main door. There's also an awning off the backside here that's covering up our patio package. And then we've got vents here that are gonna pull air through the garage. We've got access here to the back of our fridge. All right. And then here we have our four step entrance up and in. Nice and secure to the ground, droopy grab handle, outside speakers, and then right here is the other side of our pass-through storage. You can see it's widened up over here on this side. This one has the optional uh, J-Port uh, griddle, so that uh, black piece there with the uh, griddle in the box is actually going to slide in here at the back. Boom, and we can hook that up to the gas, uh, mounted right on it. Now slides are still closed. Let's see what kind of travel access we have, Brendan. Let's do it. All right. So as we slide in here, we're able to get to our bathroom and bedroom quite easily. We're also able to get down in through here and get to our fridge all with the slide outs closed. Let's get this guy opened up. Right on folks, we're heading inside that Seismic 399. The garage is behind me, kitchen space is here, great living space as I walk forward here. L-shaped style couch, which is great because you can sit a bunch of people and we're not like facing away from each other. You're able to actually have like a conversation in through here. This piece of furniture, just so you're aware, does come off and just go in through here when the slide outs are closed. We've got windows here on the uh, off door side. Uh, Really, really nice windows in through there on both sides, which is cool. Your TV is directly across from your uh, theater seat or your L-shaped style sofa. We've got covered space down below it. And never mind, we have got a radio and our breakers and fuses down below it. Fireplace there, open storage on either side. And then a cupboard there, cupboard here, and then cupboards here across the top. And this cupboard here has our switches for everything, like our lights or slides awnings, uh, generator, all that kind of stuff is done in through there. Main door is here, and then flipping over to the door side, we've got our freestanding table and chairs. The way they've done this table is, um, I really like because the platform of the slide actually starts right about here, but they set this table back a little bit to give you a little more walking space in and around, and then if you want, you can just pull this out and extend that table for yourself there. Slick stuff, 
And again, door side windows facing your campsite over and through here. We've got some cupboard space there, a skinnier cupboard here down below, and then a pull-out pantry. Sweet, adjustable shelves in through there too. Cupboard here down below. And then right here's our fridge <clears throat> by Everchill, Brennan. 12 volt. That's it. Nice fridge in through there. Double drawers here for the freezer. Lovely to see. So kick that in. And then into our kitchen. Too bright, Brennan, or are we doing okay? No, we're doing good. Okay. I'll look at all this upper cupboards. For plates and cups, we got the shelf built in, cupboard there, cupboard here, more of the same cupboards here and here. Oh, this is nice. Nice sink insert. Perfect. Uh, these are uh, like seamless countertops, a pull-out faucet. You saw the undermount uh, plastic sinking through there made to look like stainless. Uh, pull-out faucet and then cupboard space here down below. We do have the two-tone cabinetry. This is gray down here, white in the upper cabinets. Cupboard there, pot and pan drawer there, and then a three burner stove top underneath our glass stove top cover. Should I bring this down? Sure. Any better? Oh, great. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> There we go. Um, and then we have cupboard here and then three drawers here down below. Perfect. Let's head back into the garage. I really like this garage. It's, it's a long garage. I would say 14 feet, Brendan. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then a lot of times this secondary washroom kind of comes out further into the garage. I like how they've made this a little bit longer uh, and yet skinnier. So as we head into the uh, uh, Half bath. Half bath in through here. It's a little bit tall, but dump truck fits, sink there, medicine cap, no, not medicine, a mirror there, and then blind in through here. So it's nice to have a window there in that small washer. Heading back now, we've got our Happy Jack style bed. So that's a bed right through there. Rollover st style sofas that will turn into a bed. We've got the patio package at the back, the three season doors, both of those are options. Vent in through there, vent here pulling air through, and then our secondary door to check on the toys as you, uh, as you travel down the road. Heading back through the living space now, up into the bedroom bathroom area. Porcelain toilet, the dump truck fits. One cupboard there, bigger sink here, medicine cabinet above. And then up into the shower, I like the, uh, the surround in through here too. I'm six feet tall, you can see here I fit in the shower quite easily. Good space in through here. And then ensuite into the bedroom, that's a queen size bed out in the slide. Windows on both sides of the bed. You would not be able to option a king. You would not be able to option a king. Thank you, Brendan. We got shelves in through here, hanging storage there, shelf across the top. This is where your laundry would go if you want to add that in, or it's just great storage. And then right here's our dresser with four drawers built in. That's the video, folks. Hit the like button, the subscribe button, hit us up on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Leave us a comment down below. Have yourself a good day.